Hey guys, welcome to a new video, new world video again. I told you guys I'll be back with more new world. But today's is going to be more of a guide. Uh, I know a lot of people have been wondering how to get your watermark on your jewelry up, uh, your amulets, rings, you know, earrings and such, because that's what most people struggle with. They have their weapons, they have their gear, but how can you get your jewelry up? And since I'm max on the watermark, I kind of know a thing or two about that, you know, so, you know got some free info i got you guys so if it's your first time here guys it won't be your last i make mmorpg content new world mainly and mobile games uh so really appreciate if you guys give me a thumbs up all right or hit the sub even better you know help a brother out you know you youtube algorithm out here you know you gotta you gotta look out for each other but let's jump into today's video i am here in my home so we'll patrol we own a morning dale in um in eden server you know east side east side gang right here but jewelry that's what we're talking about right now. So, as you guys know, my watermark on the jewelry is max. Uh, uh, it's max on ring, and I'm going to get max on earring any second. Uh, probably by the time this video goes live, I'll probably have max on it. But, how do you get jewelry up? Because it took me two months of hard grinding, right? But fear not, guys. In next week, about probably five, six days... I don't know when this video goes live the new update will come out which will help tremendous for you guys struggling on your jewelry uh but if you want to start leveling already before increase your watermark because this is what's going to happen i'm going to be real with you guys is people are going to be running dungeons it's going to be super expensive the keys to enter is going to be probably 10k uh and people are going to be running them like crazy so you know get on it early and level up your jewelry as much as you can until the patch comes out but the patch will help tremendously because uh you will get like watermark upgrades on every dungeon plus i think jewelry will be dropped from chests which will also make it way easier uh so overall it will be better but it will still be a little struggle so you kind of kind of have to grind so if you want to get on it early this is what you guys can do there's two ways the two best ways right now to grind jewelry is one is dungeons expeditions guys genesis and lazarus run them as many times as you can and try to use you don't have to use full luck here if you don't have it uh but what i usually do is i run normal again and use luck here especially on bosses so what i've seen from my experience is when you drop jewelry on mobs there's like a you, there's a low chance that you get a watermark upgrade but when you defeat bosses with luck gear I usually get like constantly upgrades on my jewelry so bosses 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 genesis lazarus are the best thing you can do now the reason my jewelry is so high compared to everybody else is when everybody was farming watermark right for their weapon their gear and stuff people running chests people running bosses well i i was doing that too of course because again i'm a degenerate I, I grind everything but i was also doing dungeons because what everybody was saying back then is you have to be 600 watermark before you run expedition fake news guys that's fake don't listen to those guys dungeons are amazing for watermark and especially jewelry so if you guys would be running dungeons back then keys were free right so i took advantage of it i took people wanted to run their dungeons first time whatever i got free keys you know and i ran uh probably like 100 200 dungeons uh, while people have ran zero because they want to wait for the max watermark so don't wait for your max watermark guys don't listen to those if you're a new player and you want to upgrade consistently on all your watermark Focus on your earrings, focus on your jewelry, because you will get, I'm not even joking right now, maybe it will be better once they fix it, but your gear will be the fastest watermark that you will get. It's so easy to get watermark max on your gear. Then it will be weapons, and then it will take ages for your jewelry. Probably saying it wrong, guys. Sorry, I'm not American or English. But basically, that takes a long time. So focus on that first, and eventually everything will increase by itself. So do you run expedition, run dungeons. Now, if you don't have keys and you still want to grind, there are bosses that you can farm that nobody farms at all. So uh, the one I like to farm is in Great Cleave. Uh, not Great Cleave, sorry. Uh, in Shattered, Scorch Mines. Uh, he spawns every 10 minutes, so it's not very efficient to farm him, but you guys can do that, and you can run like mines and chests and stuff while you do it but it's basically the big brute uh that spawns here he drops he drops two rings uh which are decent it's also a luck ring but farm him uh he also dropped like armor hat and stuff that you can make money on but overall dungeons expeditions is the best tip i can give you it's the best advice i can give you especially before uh the update comes because prices for keys and, and expeditions keys are going to go up by double now you guys are probably wondering since we're already talking about this stuff 
should you buy jewelry or should you have people craft it? The answer is yes, you should. So depending on your class, there's only a certain amount of uh, items and gear out there right now that you can look on the website. You just go to the New World database and you can check everything that you can drop at bosses. What kind of rings, what kind of earrings and so on, right? Uh, and for me, luckily me, lucky me, the two nice things that I have max on is my ring and earring. And these are basically uh, best in slot. The ring will drop, my legendary ring will drop in Lazarus, which would be the best for me as a, as a melee DPS. And then the earring will drop at, um, what do you call it? Genesis. Now, however, for Amulet for my class, there is no buy, uh, best in slot that drops in any dungeons or at any mobs or, or elites. Nothing. The best one I can get is, again, through somebody crafting it which was which was perfect for me so because i found somebody that crafted me or bought somebody bought from somebody it cost 150k by the way but you don't have to go for that just go for like a cheaper piece uh but they're so easy what i usually do this is the best advice i can give you guys if whenever you guys log on this is what you do you just go up here to the trading post this should be like this should be like a daily thing for you guys okay because sometimes you just get to find some cheap stuff very nice now, if you guys have money to spend, what you want to do is you obviously click on like the highest price. You start scrolling down from there because usually this is where you find the best stuff. Now, this, for example, be be careful what you choose. This thing is not worth 150k, and this is very easy why. Because it has a perk which is beloved, which you don't need. Why would you pay 150k for a perk that you won't need? If it, it, it's not even close. This this thing is probably worth like 40k at most. But be careful what you buy. But just scroll through, find the perks that you want. Most people would want like on rings, you want like leeching, uh, on, for example, amulets, uh, what do you call it? Uh, should earrings, earrings, you want regeneration and on uh, amulets, you want health, such perks like that. Right. And then go for your main stat and so on. But look every day, just scroll through the training post and try to find a good item uh that will fit you because it will help you guys tremendously it's gonna take me like you guys don't understand i will keep you i'll keep you updated but me dropping that bone even though when i'm max watermark it's gonna be um it's gonna take a long time it's probably maybe even take me two weeks or three weeks to finally get those legendaries so until then you know find something uh find out which piece you want this is the most important thing i can tell you find which ring you want find which amulet you want uh, find what earring you want if they don't drop on any elites or mobs start crafting okay you give your materials you people that like people love uh what do you call it the rng rules right but you give them items you give them stuff and they will craft for you they love that they will do it for free do that and uh, try to craft every day and try to get the pieces that you want now for dungeons and expeditions and elite when you do other stuff random stuff that is not competitive do you want to go hardcore i get luck stuff guys get luck earrings get uh, rings, amulets, whatever. Okay, get luck. I use these. I the, the, here's the crazy part. Okay, I'm gonna tell you guys. I, I use these things, these amulets, these these bad ones, way more than I use my main set because everything, every every day, whatever I run, if it's expeditions, dungeons, elite chest, whatever, I always have my luck set on. The only uh, time I have like the good set on is when I'm, for example, doing some outpost rush or doing PvP and so on. So you're mainly going to be using your luck stuff. So make sure you have like decent ones at least with your main stat. You look, you look on the trading post, get luck ones. And uh, yeah, you will you will have a bit. Uh, yeah, it will make it, your life way easier, guys. So that is the most I can say about um, jewelry. I think I covered most of it. But the priority is very simple. When the update goes live, it will be easier to get uh, your watermark up. But expeditions, guys, farm those as much as you can. Uh, get into runs with your orb. Try to do like trade five orbs and get that water mark up. And keep looking in trading posts. That's the two best tips I can give you guys uh, because it will help you guys a lot. In the end, what you want to do is you want to be max geared. You want to have the best stuff. So make sure you guys focus on jewelry. All the other, if you're a new player, your gear water mark, your weapon water mark, it will increase eventually. It's no rush for that. But the jewelry will take super slow compared to everything else so make sure you guys focus on that but that is it if you have any questions answer me quite, uh, said answer me below that makes sense ask me below and i'll answer it if you guys enjoy my discord i will i do stream on twitch some new world so if you're going to see some fun content you know i like to troll around do some dungeons expeditions pvp you know 
some RNG luck armor crafting, you know, a little bit of everything. So you guys can tune in there. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Give me a thumbs up, make sure you guys subscribe, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye bye.